Hello guys. Um, so in this lesson, we want to we want to learn how to uh, factorize polynomials. All right. Now um, recall that in the previous in the previous lesson, we had an example where we said that if you divide x squared plus 4x minus 5, if you take this and divide by x minus 1, you get x plus 5. All right. We did this. We used long division and we said that if you take x minus this and then divided by x squared plus 4x minus 5, the final result was x plus 5. Alright, after going through all the all the stuff. Okay? Good. Um, and I mentioned that, right? After we did that, I mentioned that what that means is if I have x squared plus 4x minus 5 divided by x minus 1, the result is x plus 5, implying that this guy x squared plus 4x minus 5 can be written as a product of this and that, right? Okay? Good. So this is actually this. So this guys, x minus 1 and x plus 5, I call the factors. So this is a factor of this polynomial, and that is also a factor of this polynomial. But this, in this example, you were given this. You were given the polynomial and you were asked to divide by this. And we saw that this was a factor. The question is, suppose you are not given this, and yet you want to be able to factorize this guy and get these factors. How do you do that? Okay? So that is, that is the question. If you are not given this, how do you determine that if you divide this by this, you are going to get x plus 5, and those two terms will be the factors of the polynomial. So that is factorizing. That is um, how you factorize uh, polynomials. Okay, now notice something. So suppose uh, our polynomial expression, let me call it p of x, is given by x squared plus 4x minus 5. All right? Uh, we are dividing by this. Notice that because this is a factor, and that is also a factor, this x minus 1 is a factor. If I equate it to 0, I get x is equal to 1. Okay? Now, what happens? Check this. What happens if I plug in 1 in this expression? p of 1 will be equal to what? I'm going to have 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 5. So 1 plus 4 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So what you notice is that x equal to 1, right, which you obtain from this x minus 1 term, right? If I put x equals 1 in the polynomial, the polynomial goes to 0, all right? So we say something like, if there's an element that makes the polynomial goes to 0, if x is equal to 1, causes your polynomial to go to 0, then bring it there, then this guy here becomes a factor of the polynomial. Okay? The same with this. You will notice that, so let me get rid of this. Okay? I'm just giving you uh, some examples as a motivation before we get into the general case. Alright? So, this is also a factor. So x plus 5, if this is 0, this implies x is equal to negative 5. So what happens if I put negative 5 in this expression? So p of negative 5 is equal to negative 5 squared will be positive p to 5. Negative 5 times 4 will be negative 20. Then negative 5. I get negative 25 minus negative 25. That is 0. You see? So x because negative 5 is a 0 will come to that. It's a 0 of the polynomial. Which means that if you take this to this side, x plus 5, this guy. It means that this guy is also a factor. Okay? So that brings us to the general case. Given that you have a polynomial and you want to factorize this, but you don't know this linear factors. You don't know that. How do you find it? 
This example tells us that what you do is something similar to what we use for quadratic equations. So in general, given a polynomial a0 x to the n, a1 x to the n minus 1, and so on, up to a and okay minus 1 x plus a. Right after this. Here, what you do is that take your constant term, multiply by the coefficients of this, right? So a naught multiply by a n. Then look for the factors of this number. This is just a number like 2 or 6 or 8. Okay? Look for factors of this. And find those factors that will cause the polynomial to go to 0. So if I know that x is equal to some number n, will make the polynomial p of n. If this goes to zero, right, then I know that x minus n is a factor of the polynomial. It's one factor. And to get the rest of the factors, I can then use long division to find the other factors. Okay? So that is the general procedure for finding the, um, the factors or factorizing the polynomial. Okay? So let's use let's use an example to illustrate this. Let's use uh, some example to um, to show this. So we have suppose you have this uh, polynomial. So you want to factorize uh, example factorize factorize. Um, I'll get I'll call it p of x. Is x raised to the power 3 minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. Okay? Factorize. You want to factorize this. Good. Um, what do you do? Um, what you do first is take the constant term, okay? Multiply by 1. Well, if there's no constant term, I mean, it's easy. First of all, pull out an x and then try to factorize what is inside the bracket. Right? Okay, so that is for another. Um, take 2, multiply by 1, you have 2. That's what we do for, um, for quadratic equations, right? So you have 2. Now, find the factors of 2. Find factors, factors of 2 that uh, makes p of x go to zero. Yeah? Okay, so that's what you do. Just find the factors of two. So you have this and this. So if you take two, find the factors of two. Factors of two are one is a factor of two, right? One goes there. Two is also a factor. Two is three is one. Negative one is another factor, right? And negative two is another factor. So these are the factors of 2. And so you try them out. Okay? You, put, you plug in um, x equals 1, for instance, into the polynomial to see whether it goes to 0. You can put the 2, right? The 1 that causes it to go to 0. So suppose that x is equal to 1. If I put it in here, if, if p of 1 is 0, then I can conclude that x minus 1 here is a factor, is one of the factors of this polynomial. Okay? Alright. Good. So, plug in first. So, for instance, I'm going to try one that I think is not right. So, for instance, let's start with this. Try x equals negative 2. So, I have p of negative 2 is equal to y. I have negative 2 raised to the power 3 minus 2, negative 2 squared minus negative 2 plus 2, right? I'm going to have 8 is negative. This is 4, negative 8. This is positive. This is positive. So I'm going to have negative 16 plus 4, that is negative 14. So this is not equal to 0. So, x is equal to negative 2, it's not a 0. 
In other words, x plus 2, right? You can bring this here. This is not a factor. You see? Because the polynomial that equal to 0, x is equal to negative 2 is not a, a 0, it can be zeros, or x plus 2 here is not a factor. But we are looking for factors. So we're going to try a different one. So let me get rid of this. Yeah. Let's try x equals, um, equals 1, right? Try x equals 1. p of 1 is equal to 1 raised to the power of is 1 minus 1 squared is 1. So I have 2 here minus 1 plus 2, right? This is equal to 1 minus this is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1, right? This is equal to 0. You see? So x equals 1 causes the polynomial to go to 0, which means that, therefore, if I bring this here, I get x minus 1. This is a factor of the polynomial. Okay? So now I know that this guy is a factor. I don't necessarily have to try the other ones. You could, right? But what I can do now is to use long division, take this and divide by this, and that will help me to get the other factors. All right, that's what we want to do. So I'm going to get rid of this, and then we'll look for the other factors, because we want to factorize. Okay. So I'll take, um, I'll take this guy, I know one factor, which is this guy, and then in the polynomial, I put it here, cubed 2x squared minus x plus 2, okay? x goes into x cubed, I get x squared. This times that gives me x cubed. This and this gives me negative x squared. All right, I divide, that goes to zero. Negative 2x squared minus minus, so that is plus. So I'll get a negative x squared here, okay? This gives me negative x plus 0 and 0, okay? So negative x and that is plus 2, okay? x goes into negative x squared, that's minus x. This times this gives me negative x squared. Negative x times this, negative 1 is positive x. I subtract. This goes to 0, negative x minus x is negative 2x. This is 2. x now goes into negative 2x, I get a negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Okay, so this now vanishes. That's 0, that's 0. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that, okay. I'm going to get rid of this. This means that I have this guy, this polynomial, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. This can be written as a product of, remember we have one factor already, which is this. And because there's no remainder term, this times our result. Will be the factors. Okay? We are not done yet. Okay? So you can write this as the product of this linear term and this quadratic. Then we'll go ahead to try to factorize this. Right? This is easy. We know how to do quadratic factorization. Okay? So you take negative 2, right? You have a, so for x squared minus x minus 2, alright? This is kind of written as 1. If you take negative 2, Factors are 2 and 1. I want a negative here, right? This time this is negative 2, this plus that is negative 1. So this can be written as x negative minus 2 and then x plus 1. So I can further factorize this guy and that will give me and that will give me what? So this means that x cubed 
minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to x minus 1. This quadratic now becomes this, right? x plus 1 and then x multiplied by 2. Or the other way around, it doesn't matter, alright? So you have this. So the factors, we have factorized it, alright? But this means that the factors of the polynomial P of x are x minus 1, x plus 1, and x minus 2. Okay? So this is how you factorize polynomial. So to factorize this, uh, you are not given any of this. How do you do that? Multiply the constant by this, look for factors of it, and try to find um, a factor that causes the polynomial to go to zero. Uh, if it does, then that helps you to get one of the factors that you divide by the polynomial to get the other factors. All right, that we have done here. Okay, so. This is a factorization, so this is factors into this linear, linear terms. All right, you have some more examples to try in your uh, lecture notes and slides. All right, so I'll come back later with uh, some more stuff on the remainder theorem and then the zeros of the polynomial and so on. Okay, see. You.